Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be a stocking stuffers slash gift guide for the men in our lives. So these gift ideas are suitable for husbands, partners, boyfriends, brothers, dads, best guy friend, all those kinds of people, just the men in our lives. This video is going to be a little bit different to my last two stocking stuffers videos because this isn't specifically what I'm buying my husband for Christmas. It's a gift idea. So these are things that I've bought him in the past that he's really enjoyed. I'm going to jump straight in and I'm going to sort of break this up into categories. So the first category I'm starting with is massage. So you could just go ahead and buy a massage voucher to their favorite clinic if you like, or you've probably seen something like this on Instagram or even on YouTube. This is a massage gun and they range a lot in price. So this is what ours looks like. And I believe this one was under $100. I want to say between $80 and $90. And it's really, really good. Like I've seen these go, you know, hundreds of dollars. Maybe the only difference is the battery charge. Maybe this doesn't last for as long, but you can keep it plugged in to an outlet while you use it. So, I mean, there is that. So it comes with these attachments. So this is for quite like a targeted massage. Uh, this one I think is um, a, bit, a bit softer, even though it looks like that. This is the one that we use the most as well as sort of the forked one um, and I don't know that we've had I don't know if we've used that one yet but I imagine that's for getting like you know really smaller knots out and then the actual gun looks like this um, I guess it is on the heavy side but it's nothing um, nothing major so you obviously just attach your nozzle um, there is a switch on the bottom here for on or off and then you can control how um, intense the massage is so I'll just I'll show it to you Like it goes that fast. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, you can obviously just start as low as you like and go on. So these are really good. I was really skeptical about these when I first saw them. Um, but my husband's friend bought one first and he, they, we tested it out. And it was actually amazing. So I've used it on my legs. Uh, obviously, you can use it most places, on your back, on your legs, um, arms. And it really it really makes a huge difference. So I definitely recommend something like that. On the other hand, if you're looking for something a little bit less expensive, something probably more so for a stocking, this is a really good option. This was from, I think, Kmart. They definitely have options around. It's like a mini foam roller. So you use this in the same way to roll. Um, I mean, obviously, you could, I suppose you could do it here. She feels quite nice. You roll it on parts of your body that need massaging. So use it on your legs, on calves. Um, I'm actually really quite enjoying this on my arm. These are really affordable. So definitely would recommend one of these. We had this before we got the massage gun and I think he still does use it, even though we do have the massage gun now. Next up is this magnesium spray and I would recommend buying something like this or a magnesium salt bath. They're just really good for helping the muscles recover um, after physical activity. There's also a lot of other benefits to using magnesium typically on your skin. So I'd recommend researching that, but this is a good little spray to pop in their stocking. And then moving on to personal hygiene items, but sticking with a spray. I bought this for Joe a few years ago. It's called VI Poo. And you've probably seen ads for this because they were everywhere a few years ago, but this is really, really good. He, um, he, he keeps one in his gym bag. He has one at home and I think they have one at work as well. Basically you spray it before you use the toilet and it doesn't, it traps any odors in, any bad odors. It just leaves it smelling well, fruity in this in this case. Fun little stocking stuffer and one little bottle will last a long time. I think you only just do a couple of sprays um, for each use of the toilet. And a really obvious one I would say are things like your body moisturizer, um, face moisturizer, shaving gel, shaving cream. Um, I like to put in a pack of razors every now and again as well, like your actual disposable razors. I like to put those in and then things like cologne. Um, I know my husband has colognes that he uses at home and then he again he keeps some in his gym bag. I think he's got one at work as well. He He's quite basic. He likes the, um, the David Beckham ones. Uh, this one is the Intimately one. Most of the colognes from David Beckham are quite nice. Then I have this little gadget, which I know looks a bit sus. It is an exfoliator for your foot or a skin remover probably is more accurate. So you have two attachments. You have the sort of more foot file type one here, which is a lot gentler. And then you have this more hardcore like cheese grater type attachment. And literally you turn it on and it shaves the dead skin off your feet. I have used this as well. It is disgusting, but it's very effective. It's quite satisfying to use as well. And again, with the disgusting personal grooming items, I bought him one of these 
gosh, years ago. And it is like a nose and ear hair trimmer. He's only used it a few times, but it's always very effective. So it looks like that. I don't want to touch it, but with the cap off, it's just got this tiny little um, electric razor in there. I'm pretty sure you just... And then you stick that up your nose or in your ear, wherever there is excess hair and it will be gone. He's told me that it tickles, but it's not painful or anything like that, but that's a nice little stocking stuffer. And then I would also recommend taking note of what he borrows of yours or steals of yours. Um, in the past, I've bought nail files and cuticle removers, like, I'll show you, this is mine. But these things, he really likes to use these of mine and the nail files as well is the same thing or even just nail scissors, just so he's got his own personal grooming kit. Moving on to accessories, I've just got a couple of options here. I think cufflinks are a really good idea. I bought these for my husband a couple years ago. He's Welsh, so I got him these cute little Welsh dragons. But any kind of cufflinks are nice. It's nice for them to have a few options and you can really personalize them to the guy that you're buying for, their favorite characters or like pop culture references, things like that. And and then a fashion watch is always nice to have as well. This is actually mine, but I really love the style of these watches. These are the Jord watches. Which is, uh, they look like that. And like I said, this one's my one, so it's rose gold and pretty. But they're made out of wood and they're really packaged quite nicely. They're not too expensive, but they're also not just you know, a budget watch either. So they come packaged in a nice little wood box. And then you also get a little touch up pen as well for if it gets scratched or anything like that, which is really nice. And these are all magnetized, the drawer is magnetized, um, this is magnetized, and that's just a really, I think just a really nice gift option for the guys. They have so many different options, and I had a look at the website the other day to see um, what kind of, what their style is like these days, and it's just, it, they're all really, really gorgeous um, and really, really wearable. So definitely have a look at George watches. And then my husband is super into sports and like, keeping fit and active and everything. He's done a few marathons in the past and he's always doing some kind of team sport. So I often get him things to help him in those pursuits. He really recommends these sunglasses for running. So these, I think it's just pronounced Gooder or Gooder, I don't know. These are sunglasses that are specifically for running. So they're really, really light. And look how cute they're packaged. How flamingos. They're really, really light. Um, I think they sit, I mean, they're not for me. Oh, but that's not bad. Um, they, they sit to your face really well and they don't jump around like that was the main thing I think because they're so light they're not going to jump around and be annoying I believe the anti-glare is really good on these ones and these again they have some really cool styles so a lot of I feel like sportsy um, sunglasses is not very fashionable like it's you know but these guys had a lot of really cool styles on the website as well so you can get different prints and all that kind of thing definitely check those out if you're buying for a runner wireless earphones are a really good option as well so I bought these for Joe a last year I think they're a Bluetooth wireless option just sit in your ear really well I also have the friendy I don't know where they are I've got the friendy um, wireless headphones and I really recommend those I couldn't find them on the website that I got them from so I don't know if they're still around if I can find a link I'll leave it down below but these were also really good obviously there are airpods if you want to spend that much money on your earphone these and definitely the friendy I can say are really good for running you don't um they don't fall out of my ears they don't fall out of his ears they're really really good now something that my husband always appreciates is a protein powder this is one of his favorite brands and flavors but I would recommend finding out what the person you're buying for likes because you know people do have specific tastes but this one is one that I suppose he he recommends. I'd also recommend for a stocking stuffer some energy gels which are really useful for when they're doing marathons and like endurance events. You can also get the same sort of thing but in a chewable formula which I think Joe really preferred on his last marathon that he did because the gel can be a bit like in your mouth whilst you're running so I've heard I don't run very far at all. And then again for the protein powder these are really good so my husband has you know a proper blender and he'll make up protein smoothies in the blender quite regularly but sometimes if he is running short of time just wants a quick little protein shape these bottles are really good obviously a bottle that you can drink straight from they come with the little mixing bowl in there and it's a nice size and everything so you just mix up your protein powder in there um, with whatever liquid you're doing and then you can drink straight out of the bottle you can also put your protein shake in there if you're on the go and then you can keep mixing it up so it doesn't all settle down the bottom really good option and on that same vein i got this for joe a few years ago this is called the big bottle <laughs> it's huge it's a two liter water bottle it's a little too big obviously to take on a run <laughs> it's not i mean even though it does have a really good grip you don't want to be carrying around a two little bottle while you're running but if you're in a gym or something like that really good it is dishwasher safe it is freezable and you can microwave it apparently i don't know why you would microwave it but 
you can if you want to. I like this one as well because the cap stays attached, so you're not going to lose it. And then it has a good sized drinking spout. If the person you're buying for is more musically inclined to place the guitar or something like that, I would recommend getting some guitar strings for their stocking. These are actually ukulele strings, but uh, the Martin guitar strings as well. You can also get personalized guitar picks, which I've seen around on ads, which look really, really cute. That's just something small that you can pop in their stocking that's, you know, a little bit of fun for them. So a couple years ago, I bought my friend some personalized socks with his dog's face on them, which he really liked. They are more a dress sock than, you know, an athletic sock, but they're really, really fun. You could do, you know, kids' faces, you could do your own face, pets, you could do anything really. You just send the company the photo of whatever you want to put on these socks and they print it out and send them out. I did ask him how they're holding up. He said that they're not a sock that he wears super regularly, but he has worn them a whole bunch and um, they're still holding up really well. And I'm pretty sure I bought them for him probably two years ago. So they're a really good option. I'll link to the ones that I used down below. And then books are always a nice idea as well if the person you're buying for is a reader. So a couple that my husband recommended. Moneyball by Michael Lewis. Obviously this was a movie, but he's really looking forward. He hasn't read it yet, but he's looking forward to reading the book. This um, Batavia book, he really, really enjoyed. Uh, he also recommends, uh, it's called Shoe Dog, and it's about the creator of Nike. Um, I haven't got that on here because we actually borrowed it from a friend. He actually said that it was one of his favorite books that he's read in recent times, so there must be a good one. The friend that lent it to him obviously loved it as well, so apparently that's a really good book. And then last year I got him the Shane Warne autobiography. I'd recommend finding a autobiography of someone that you know the person likes or is interested in. There are so many around. It feels like anyone that has any kind of notoriety has an autobiography published at some point over the last few years. So. so that is everything for my gift guide for men this year. Let me know what you're buying the men in your life down in the comments below. I'd love to hear about it. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy the video and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.